you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear to you. Uh, is the broadcast going fine? Because I see in YouTube some weird uh, messages. I hope you can hear me fine. Let me know please if there is any problem. Uh, you know, if we look at the Muslims comment, you will see how Muslims are desperate to prove to us, to us that they have a religion. One of them, he says, how you can explain to me that Christian women are marrying uh, uh, Muslim men massively? Well, if this is true, first of all, a Christian woman, she is not a Christian by marrying a pagan man because the Bible says clearly the one who would do that is a pagan. Light and darkness cannot live together. But then if this is true, that would be something negative. Why? Because the question is why Muslim men then are not marrying Muslim women? Can you answer that? Are you saying that Muslim women are not good to be married? So Muslim men, they are targeting Christian women? Because Muslim women, maybe they are not decent? Maybe because they learned that the man, he can lie to his wife and the wife, she can lie to her husband? So a Muslim man, he preferred not to marry a Muslim woman because he knew she will lie to him according to Islam? Very desperate people trying to prove that they have religion, but that's not right. Uh, Mr. Lewell, I don't appreciate anyone say such a stupid comment. I left a rope Christian live stream to listen to you. In result of doing that, I'm going to block you. I just blocked your name. Anyone will make such a stupid comment, I will block you. This is a stupid. Even if you decide to leave from one stream to other, do you think you are making doing me a favor now and I appreciate it? Christian Prince, I left this guy streaming to come and to listen to you. Should I say thank you, kiss your shoes? If you are a true Christian, you support whoever a Christian is doing a good job. It doesn't matter what channel is. I'm not one of those guys who they are, you know, I'm not running for election. I'm not doing politics here. You go to anyone, channel, this is your business. You are not doing me a favor. I'm doing you a favor, and he is doing you a favor. Anyway, always remember that the devil, he tried to take a bite of you, if he could. So people, when they become so proud, oh yeah, they are leaving everybody coming to me. Wow, oh, okay, I'm the best. This is the devil. It's a bribe to make you an arrogant person. Uh, a Muslim, his name is Dean. He is saying, what's wrong with you? Are you getting worse with anger? Yeah, I should follow the step of the Prophet. The Prophet, he have a very good dealing with anger to the point he beat his followers. And he said the F word to them. Should I do that too? A Muslim talking about anger. Allah will curse a woman because she take hair from her eyebrows. Who is the one who need anger management? Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? That this God, he have a stupid anger management to the point 
a woman, a poor woman, she took some hair from her eyebrows. And what Allah do? You see the Muslim, they say to, Allah, to us, Allah is all merciful. <laughs> is he? <laughs> uh, bring your God to me to teach him some wisdom because obviously he is a fool. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion go far like this with stupidity? He says, what does being cursed by Allah and the Prophet mean? Does this mean there is no hope for that person? First of all, the scholars defined Allah's curse or in Arabic is known as Allah, to be expelling someone from Allah's mercy. And this is only given to major sins. So when the Prophet ﷺ, for example, curses women who pluck their eyebrows or can uh, attach attachments <laughs> and extensions to them. So the one who take hair from her eyebrows, this is a major sin and Allah who have a problem with anger management, he is so angry and now he forbid you from, her, from his mercy. What is the problem? She took some hair from her eyebrows. I mean, do you see how big the problem? This God, he ordered women to do prostitution is okay in the Quran and we show you the verses. You can do muta, which is another form of prostitution. The woman, if she divorced three times, she have to be effed by a new husband. Muslim, they have sex with the children, is okay. But the woman, she takes some hair from her eyebrows, is a major sin, and she is out of the mercy of Allah. People, please, don't ask me silly questions. I'm losing my patient with silly questions. Why you are doing your live stream so late? It's for you so late, for somebody else is not. And if you need to sleep, sleep. You can watch it later. Think before you post a question, if this question is useful or not. I'm doing live stream now. And you are saying to me why you are doing late. Should I cancel that set and go home? Use your brain if you have any. I'm not here just to do broadcast to Indonesia. There's people around the world. So sometimes we do it for your time. Sometimes we do it for their time. There's many people, millions, billions. I don't know what's wrong with people. Do you want me to call Allah for you now? Did you take your hair from your eyebrows? Uh, you are one of those who took hair from your eyebrows. Allah will curse you now. And now you are out and it's a major sin. I mean, did you hear the idiot saying this is a major sin? So cheating is not major sin in Islam because you can have a cheat up to four wives legally. While you are married, you can be engaged to unlimited numbers of women even when you are married. Because all what you need to do, you divorce one of them, you have vacancy. But the woman she is taking hair from her eyebrows, it's a major sin, brother. Look at this idiot. And the funny is, I mean, did you see something wrong in this stupid mental illness religion? Those people, they shave their mustache. Period. Do you see how stupid this face is? There's a beard, but there's no mustache. How come if the women, she take hair from here? House. Just to show you the stupidity of this garbage cult. So the women she take here, from here, here, this location. One here, two here, three here, five here, ten here. 
the guy who took thousands of hair from his mustache. It's a major sin for a female, and we know that female should be interested. I mean, this is normal. Female is a female. She likes to be more beautiful. Why you are shaving your mustache like this? Oh, the prophet used to do it. Well, he looks like Satan. I mean, beard with no mustache or something funny, silly. If we ask Muslims why it's, she cannot take her hair from her eyebrows, they say, oh, you are changing the way Allah, he made you. Well, isn't it this is taking the hair of your mustache is changing the way Allah, he made you? Do you see why we laugh at this cult? You cannot change the way Allah He made you and then they do circumcision. For male and female. If you cannot change the way Allah made you, so why you allow Muslim women to have uh, earring? I never saw a stupid religion more than this one. This is a religion of stupidity, literally. The second you are part of it, all your religion is about here in the anus. Go go to Muslim website, search. Brother and sister, I have a question, serious question. Can I take hair from the anus area, brother? And now the consultant of Sheikh, they will meet together. The United Nation of Allah. And they will discuss the very serious question. Hair in the anus. And then they will give you a holy answer. So they can give you the answer for the holy anus. Al Khomeini, who is a Shia, he said to the Sunni, You have a huge library of the bathroom. He was making fun of them, of their books. How many books they have about shaving their vagina, their penises, you know. Oh, Lord have mercy. And you, and you tell me this is a religion? What is this? God, you know, when you speak about anger management, should I change the title of my video? Anger management. The woman, she did not cheat. She did not sleep around. She did not lie. She did not kill. She did not steal. She took hair from her face. This God, he considered this as a major sin. And now she is cursed and she will go to hell. And this guy is serious. Some, for example, curses only given to major sins. So when the Prophet ﷺ, for example, curses women who pluck their eyebrows or you Muslim men, you have to like to have sex with men, don't you? That's why you like them to be hairy. Yesterday, when we went live, we have a guy from Nigeria, if you remember. Uh, he said that the Quran, when Allah, he say we, when Allah, he say we, Allah, he mean that him and the angels, they create. Remember, we have it in the previous video. I don't know which moment we can play it. And he said that Allah is one of a high rank society. Is that correct, guys? Is that what he said? If I know which moment he called me ultimate fort from Nigeria, Sheikh ultimate, we can play it so we can, we can, we can laugh. So Allah is one of high society rank. So when Allah, he say we, he mean him and the angels, all of them, they are creators. He was trying to explain how and why the Quran, the stupid Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. How Allah can be the best of the creators if there is only one creator? And then the Muslims, because they are super intelligent, 
you know. This is the destiny of you as a Muslim. When you are a Muslim, you have to be smart. I mean, genius. One after one, they start calling me, if you remember. And they told me, didn't you create a bicycle? Did Allah create a bicycle? Can Allah even create a bicycle? Bicycle is not a creation, you idiot. This is an invention. What a creation? This is not a creation. So we asked him who is Allah. Then a guy in the comment section, he said the Christian prince. Let me go to the comment actually, hold on. Give me a second. He answered my question so easy. He said, Allah is Allah. The creator. <laughs> That's it. We're asking him who is Allah. He say Allah is Allah. The creator, but Allah says he is the best of the creators. If Allah is the creator, then this verse is a fraud. Or Allah is being stupid. You cannot say, I am the best unless there is many like you. Only if there is many like you, then you can say, I'm the best. I'm the best student because there's many students. Very simple. But I cannot say, I am the best student when there is none. Because that means I'm fabricating a lie, claiming I am the best of them when there's no them. Imagine you, like uh, uh, some people, they watch uh, boxing. I believe it's a stupid uh, a sport because it's not sport, it's for money. Uh, imagine you are the champion of boxing in the world, but you never played with anyone. Nobody there playing this sport. So the definition they always jump to say to us is Allah is the creator, but there's no proof first that he can create anything. Secondly, Allah himself, he proved that he cannot be the creator. The verse in the front of you is the proof. Allah do not know how the baby is made. I mean, you are God and you are the one who made the baby. Can you explain in details how you made the baby? Who in the world wanna believe in such a garbage? That semen became a blood. There is a million websites, they have nothing to do with religion. Go check, is it true in any stage that semen will become a blood, dead blood? This Muslim here has given me an answer, which is really a uh, Harry Potter answer. Let me show you. We take selfie for him. Harry Potter, he said, Christian Prince is mixed up. I am the man is mixed up. Oh, okay. The best of the creator means creator of life the heck this is what we are saying if there's any other creator of life <laughs> and I am the one mixed up so the best of the creators mean creator of life it's like the Christian saying almighty God is the Christian saying or other God that are not almighty you stupid we are not saying the almighty gods we are saying Almighty, Almighty is describing for his power. We are not saying he's the best. He's Almighty. Because a human beings have power too. Nature has power. Mighty storm. But when we say Almighty, that means all power belongs to him. You are stupid again. So this guy, he tried to fix it. 
but he made it more more horrible because now we confirm that the creator the best of the creator is the one who is creating life so when Allah he says he is the best of the creators that's mean there's many who create lives too and he is claiming that he is better than all of them maybe he uh, create more than they do maybe those guys take them more time but we know that Allah is so slow it take Allah 1000 years to soften the skin of a woman in heaven I mean if you have an alligator go and buy some Vaseline from Amazon and you will make the skin of the alligator after 10 years maximum soft like a skin of a woman did you see the machine who make concrete soft like the face of a baby will take two seconds Allah will take 1000 years to soften the skin of a woman and the funny they say to us if Allah wanted to make something or to say something to create something he say B is going to be who is a Muslim can yeah, really until now you Muslim fail and your God fail we ask you who is Allah you give me what he do but what he do is proven to be false as you see this is not a creation of a baby that is not even a creation of a, of a cat or a rat. Who is Allah? Didn't know. The Arab before Muhammad, they used to worship Allah. If you ask the Muslims, is the Arab before Muhammad pagan? They will say yes. So how they are worshipping Allah and they are pagan? They will say to you, well they are associating with him other gods. What Allah he just did. <laughs> Is that correct? If being you know, a polytheist uh, make you pagan Allah is pagan because he just said he is the best of the creators Muhammadan I have a comment here of somebody he is proving to us that Allah and Muhammad is one person he did not say that word by word, but this is what it says. He is saying in Islam, you have to obey Allah and his messenger. Who is Allah? Look, the question is, this Muslim is answering, who is Allah? Among the Muslims, the verses of the verse of obedience to Allah, S-A-W-T, this is how you know he's a Muslim, and his messenger is the verse that uh, quite important especially to uh, in the information of an attitude of respect and the cult of Muhammad. Ah, this guy is not a Muslim, sorry. I take it back. I thought he is a Muslim because he's put uh, S-A-W-T. -S <laughs> All right, I will, I will skip this comment. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Let us see. If we see, if we can see more comment. Actually, I'm going to open my Skype. Maybe we can get lucky. And we get a Muslim, he knew a little bit what he's talking about. This is a question no Muslim really can answer. They do not know who's their God. All what they knew about their God is his name, 
And even the name is wrong. All what they knew about their God is attribute as they claim, but then this attribute is a stupid and silly. Uh, a Muslim saying to me, uh, in the book of Daniel, there is a, a, a there is a tall a tree. Uh, the whole world is visible from the top of the tree. In my friend, uh, when a Muslim he make a statement, uh, I really laugh, and I feel sorry for you. When I try to understand a belief or what the statement is saying, I try to understand what people are meant by that. I, I can say right now, I can see the whole world from the top of my roof. That doesn't mean I saw the whole world. However, can God show me the whole world from my bedroom? He can. So, you know, we, are, we have a book speaking about, it's a book of miracles. If you want to talk about Facts, then you have to deny what Allah he said that Mary she had a son without a man again he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is right because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith the people of Mecca were pagan Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God they would have found in it many contradictions if a book is without contradictions that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not I've had phone books that are inerrant but I certainly don't think God gave them <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 